Today I've been tasked to introduce a new yacht to you. My job could be very easy because it's very nice, but it could also be very hard as it's very fast. There's one thing I'm sure about, it's technology rich and I can't wait to drive it. This Pershing 8X and all we are about to see is state of the art. Its hull is built through epoxy resin infusion and its deck and coverage are carbon based in order to reduce its weight and improve performance, as well as to cut consumption and enhance stability. But Fulvio Di Simone, its designer, e Gruppo Ferretti Engineering Department, leveraged carbon properties also to change its shapes and surprise us. Its deck house has very little struts and so there's a global landscape view. Some data, 25.55 metres length, 5.86 metre width, 57 tonne displacement. two 16-cylinder MTU 2,638 horsepower engines and top system surface propulsions. It's been designed and built based on CE A category specifications. In my opinion, this new model is yet more Persian typical. What I mean is with ATEX through its materials, its shapes, these more clear-cut lines and with the technologies we're going to test before long, this brand's unique character was yet more stressed. We can define it as a sport fly, as it's got a fly, but no one can question its sports design. By the way, look how to get on it. I'd buy it for that ladder only. A gifted mind designed it. Someone will be dreaming of driving it outdoors. From up here, someone else will be maybe dreaming of laying down on this sun deck. Well, it depends on whether you're a tech or a top model. On the bow, we find the unavoidable sun deck along with the couch. The cockpit is totally at your disposal, wide and clear, with one or two sun decks, because the table goes down and turns into a second solarium. The garage can hold a 345cm Williams Sport jet tender and a jet ski. Now let's go in and remove the stern windowing. Each element in this living room is either charming or very interesting, technically wise. Mechanisms go beyond any imagination. Each furnishing accessory is an expression of a research for a clear cut and out of the ordinary style. Look how they matched door handles to light fixtures. They also made the couch unique. There's four chairs around the dining table, but it fits six people. Let's go down to the owner's area. This is the most important cabin and they allocated a 20 square meter surface to it. A piece of data to understand its size. The bed is 180 centimeters wide. There are many containers, a chaise lounge and a beauty area. The closet cabin and the restroom separate it from the engine room. On the lower deck, there are three more cabins, two double cabins allowing to add a third overturning bed on the bulkhead and a VIP cabin on the bow with an ensuite bathroom. The height is over two meters here too. The kitchen features an independent access ladder and it's directly connected to the crew quarters with three berths in two cabins and the engine room can be directly accessed from here.
c'è chi pensa che gli yacht siano fatti oltre che per navigare anche per mangiare, per dormire. Per Some think yachts are made other than for sailing, also for eating, sleeping, sunbathing, going for a dip. Who designed this bridge has thought instead this yacht should also be nice to pilot. Guardate questa timoneria, è tecnologica come un'astronave, è elegante. Look at this wheelhouse. It's as technological as a spaceship, as elegant as a suite, as panoramic as a terrace overlooking the sea, and then is as comfortable as a frau armchair. Its windshield is very wide and has no middle struts. Above it, the crystal root, expandable. In plancia la tecnologia di top system. On the bridge we get the top system, Onyx, Naviop Simrad, Ezenta technology. All these companies collaborating with Ferretti Group led to developing command and control systems for the yachts. Il sistema di propulsione è composto da due motori MTU da 2630. The propulsion system is made up by two 2636 horsepower each MTU engines combined with surface propulsion. And we know using this transmission system for controlling the ship requires certain experience, especially while maneuvering. But here's a joystick. It's a product by Zenta. It controls at the same time the bow screw, the stern screw, as well as transmissions, inverters and accelerators. Any maneuvers can be performed, from the simplest ones, such as rotating the hull in place, Quelle più complesse, come la to the most complex ones, such as sideways translations and even combined movements, repositioning, rotation. Al joystick è abbinata anche la funzione Dynamic Position System. The joystick is also matched with the Dynamic Position System feature, allowing to keep the boat still in a certain position and also a certain direction, better than the typical anchor. Ogni volta che spingi in avanti il comando... Every time I push the command joystick forward, I set up a higher revolution speed, and when I automatically release, it gets maintained. If I want to turn it down, I move the control back. È un modo molto delicato e preciso. It's a very sensitive and accurate way of driving the boat and setting up its speed. Ma non basta, posso utilizzare... But that's not all. I can use the same command to turn as well. Se procedo a lento moto, ogni volta che imposto... If I go on slowly, every time I set up an approach, it gets preserved and the turn continues. If its speed is instead higher... Dopo aver impostato la virata... After setting up the approach, the boat goes back to its trajectory where I release the command. Ecco come si muove... Look how the helm moves. Pilotare un grande yacht così potente con propulsione di superficie potrebbe essere impegnativo, richiede un po' di esperienza. Piloting such a powerful big yacht with surface propulsion could be challenging. It requires some experience. Why? Because you need to adjust transmission axis grade and maybe also handle flaps to get the ship to plane, to drive it at cruise speeds and full throttle. But you can help performing all these adjustments if you like. There's the Easy Set command, an automatic control on the whole propulsion system and on the boat trim. Sto accelerando, siamo nella fase di planata e il sistema ha portato le trasmissioni verso il basso. I'm speeding up, we're in the planing stage. The system brought transmissions downward. It completely moved the flaps down, just to support the stern. And now, as I'm accelerating, here all adjustments are changing. I'm not doing a thing. I'm comfortably sitting down in my armchair, controlling this Pershing 8X. Hanno lavorato molto sulla carena di questo scafo. È completamente nuova. È un po' più larga del precedente modello di pari misura e questo le attribuisce 
They've worked a lot on this hull. It's completely new, a bit wider than the previous same size model, which allows for a higher stern support, so an already more regular layout. Already optimal at low speeds, just as this one, 20 knots. Engines run at 1,570 RPM. It's yet too easy to drive and it's perfectly stable, silent. Di solito le velocità di crociera degli yacht sono tra i 20 e i 25 knots. Cruise speeds for yachts are usually 20 to 25 knots, but if you're a Pershing, you need to benchmark to a different level. So let's start considering the cruise speeds, those higher at least than 30 knots. E proprio a 30 nodi il consumo di carburante Just at 30 knots fuel consumption amounts to about 21 liters per mile. Engines run at 1850 rpm. I keep enjoying my navigation without being in any way busy. Bello di questo yacht è che continui a dare gas, continua ad accelerare, continua ad emozionarmi. Siamo a 40 nodi. The good thing about this yacht is you keep stepping on. It keeps speeding up, it keeps thrilling me. We're going at 40 knots and, surprisingly, fuel consumption stayed constant. Always around 21 litres per navigation mile. We're still on a cruising speed, 2,100 RPM. Avete notato che non ho toccato il timone? Anche a questa altissima velocità non sono costretto a... Did you notice I haven't touched the helm? Even at this high speed, I'm not forced to adjust, correct the ship's wheel to maintain a trajectory. Zenta Auto Course system does it. It's fantastic. Let's try and see if it also works at higher speed. I let Top Systems Easy Set Command handle all again, and let's see what's going on. The flap sono stati eliminati completamente. Le trasmissioni sono state. Flaps have been completely removed. Transmissions have been brought to surface as they need to be, and they're called like that because the screw has to turn just at the water level, and speed is now 47 knots. Forse è arrivata l'ora. It's maybe time to adjust the system a little bit. Let's pull trims up a little bit. The hull pitch increases a tad bit because there's some waves today, but speed goes up to, we're 48 knots already. What a spectacular slipstream. What an amazing feeling. And I'm always here, very relaxed. Se state cercando uno yacht che sia solo affascinante da mostrare all'ormeggio, if you're looking for a yacht fascinating to be displayed at your berth, switch brands. If you instead are looking for a yacht giving you some feelings and outstanding to be driven, then choose this. You won't regret it.